this is an interesting topic because it, there is nothing yet that is fully on the record. But I do want to start talking about Kentucky football and what might be going on with that football program. I, I've got up on the screen a, a Reddit post, but this is this is going on basically everywhere. Uh, KSR, Kentucky Sports Radio, uh, those guys have been talking about it, you know, in very secret tones, if you will. But there's been a lot of rumors flying about Chris Rodriguez potentially being kicked off the team or being suspended for quite some time, etc. And then last week, you had Javon Baker, the wide receiver, who was uh, not kicked off the team, but told, hey, you might want to transfer elsewhere. He transferred into Kentucky this year from Alabama. And there is a lot that is going on, but it appears that the rumor that is going around right now is basically Chris Rodriguez had a job, and he was paid drastically more than what that job should pay. And the extra amount was basically under the table and not reported on taxes. Now, we we understand all this stuff with NCAA rules and whatever else and how, you know, all of it's legal now, it's whatever. The issue is it's not all legal unless you're doing it above board. And this issue is basically that he got paid an astronomical amount of money to play football for Kentucky, basically. Uh, he had like a no-show job and made a ton of money and didn't report it. And now it's not only that the NCAA may be involved, it is that the feds may be involved. So that's why this has become such a, such a weird topic to discuss because the school is not saying anything about it. But people have quickly figured out that, hey, Rodriguez isn't exactly with the team right now. They told Javon Baker to get out of here, and they're saying that he could be involved with this as well. I, I'm curious your thoughts on on these rumors and just all of this going on with the Kentucky football program. We are not used to Mark Stoops' football program being in any kind of trouble, and they may not be, uh, but some of their football players are. So what, what do you think about this? Well, uh, I've always said it. Uh, if I ever became president and, and took over our country, uh, the first thing that I would do would use the IRS to shut down all these backdoor dealings in college sports. Not because I'm upset that kids are getting um, paid. It's because I don't like it happening in the dark. Okay, I would, I would completely and utterly shut that down, and the IRS is the absolute best tool for that. As soon as I got all of that clamped down and everything brought into the daylight, I would then disband the IRS because I believe they are a terrorist organization. Um, <laughs> so that's that's my thoughts and and, and philosophies on that. It's uh, really amazing. I mean, yeah, to me. these guys, like, you got to pay your taxes. Yeah, I don't like it, but you got to do it. Okay, I know that we're taking our tax dollars and we're using them to bomb children in Yemen. I know that. I know that we're blowing up schools in Syria with my tax dollars, and it enrages me. It doesn't just make me mad. It, it breaks my heart, but there's nothing I can do about it. If I want to keep providing for my family and keep myself out of prison, then I have to pay my taxes. Yes. Yes. Bottom line here. And the other part of this that, that blows my mind is the fact that I, <laughs> at Kentucky football has never really done this. And now we are in a situation where, they just did it incorrectly. Like maybe, maybe yeah, this, this started... guy was asked. So hang on now. This this one boy got asked to, to leave Alabama. So we think some of this stuff might have happened there too. Like I... they didn't want to get caught in the smoke screen. So you go ahead and transfer out. All right. Well, I don't. It, Javon Baker isn't the one that was asked to leave. That was a Jai Hall. Javon Baker is one that that actually I think Saban wanted to stay because uh, he was a five star receiver and whatnot. But he he entered the transfer portal and very quickly picked Kentucky. Um, well, and, and this is this is this is a completely different story now. This is one hundred percent you took from the king. Uh, maybe, maybe because you suppose. know every one of these kids has been getting paid under the table for decades, Gary. For decades, <laughs> I doubt. I you seriously that, right? doubt. Well, yes. And, 
Yes, I'm just. And then I'm, none of them have ever paid a lick of taxes on any of it. Well, but none of it's. Tax you're, man sniffing around. You're talking about Javon Baker, though. What I'm curious about is the Chris Rodriguez stuff. Like it, the Chris Rodriguez stuff had to have been going on before the NIL stuff became legal, as far as the NCAA is concerned. Because why on earth would you not just to. sign the kid to a, an NIL deal? Because he didn't want. Because he didn't want to pay the taxes. Listen, I've had plenty of people ask me to pay them in cash in the past because they don't want to pay their taxes or because they got money being garnished from child support or back taxes or whatever. And so they want you to pay them in cash. That happens. That's that's. And so somebody said, okay, now if I pay you in cash, you're now responsible for collecting and paying your own taxes. Okay. That's and a good he point. chose to not do that. Yeah. Their uh, their fan camp. This, this could have been this could have been legitimate nil money, but if you're a 1099, they're not taking the taxes out. Uh, true, true. And if, if they don't fill out a 1099 at all, uh, you know, then it comes yeah. back on them as well. So I, I'm very curious the, about the it. The tax man is coming. Yeah. So it's it look the fan camp. It starts in uh, in three days on June 5th. Um, they'll have a bunch of different camps over the next couple of weeks. So. You know, it, it says on here we'll likely know a lot more about these once camp start. I need to, you you've used the word multiple times astronomical. I need to know what that is. That's I, I need to know what same. that is. Well, so I'm guessing that it's astronomical. Well, you're the it, one that's using it, right? Because otherwise, this wouldn't be an issue if this is like ten, twenty thousand dollars, right? This would not be something yeah, that the feds would be investigating. That, if, if if you if you don't know that, then you then you can't you can't classify it as that. You can't quantify it as that. You can't use that word to describe the amount if you don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. No, you you have a valid point here. Uh, my guess is that it's a pretty big amount of money because, again, if it's if it's even fifty thousand uh, dollars, your taxes on that are not going to be outrageous. So they're going to talk to you and they're going to get it squared away, but they're not going to do like full investigations to the point that this kid might be kicked off the team, et cetera. Right. Like it's there's sure. there's something else going on here, and I don't know what it is, and I I'm very very curious what ends up happening. Chris Rodriguez is an incredibly important part of Kentucky's offense. Like he he is a bedrock on that offense, and yeah, they've got other guys. They got smoke. They got other. They got dudes that can play the position. But Chris Rodriguez, I think, might be the best running back in the SEC. Like I, it's this is a huge deal. Right now, he, of course, there's other stuff going on as far as he had a DUI on Mother's Day, and like he's got other stuff that's happened in the past and whatnot. But, but it appears that none of that stuff has anything to do with what's going on right now. So we'll we'll keep an eye on it. We'll keep watching it. We'll see what ends up happening. But who, and not not used to Kentucky, uh, not not used to Kentucky football being the ones that might be in a, a bit of trouble. At least not their players, right? So we we're used to it on the basketball side. Just not the football side. But may, maybe this makes them even more of an SEC member. <laughs> you kind of feel like that? Am I crazy for thinking that? No, I don't know. That isn't. <laughs> you, start, you start taking transfers from Alabama, and, and all of a sudden you're going to find yourself in trouble. I just know that that's a pattern. <laughs> you, that's a pattern that I've seen for over 20 years. You uh, you might be on to something there. We'll have to see what ends up happening with it. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.